Welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. It is cold and sunny and sleeting and sunny again. It's, it, the weather is just absolutely crazy this week. But that pretty much matches up with what we've been dealing with all of this summer between farming and housing stock. If you guys are new to my channel, head on over to the channel main page and start watching our new house building series. We are trying desperately to build a house. Now we have a double wide right there. And it's a nice double wide, but we've always wanted to have an actual house on our property. The double wide was only temporary. It was a cheap, large double wide that we just threw out here in a blink of an eye because we were stuck in a camper. So now the prices have come down enough that we feel that we can finally build. However, we have a massive hang up from our local township. So to hear about that, just go watch these videos. Um, right up here, there's a link to the series. Just watch through the series. But the delay is costing us potentially thousands of dollars because now the prices of everything are jumping. Everybody out here is moving and there's a lot of construction going on. So all those prices that we had thought were in our budget, certain stores are no longer there. They are not honoring the prices that they quoted us. Now there are stores that will, and they will honor the price for 30 days. So I'm not gonna get into all that just yet, but no, that's coming up. We're gonna be discussing prices and press price fluctuations and what you really, really, really need to do if you're planning to build a house. But today we are getting to work more on Christmas trees. We have a thousand baby Christmas trees that we need to get planted before before the house build gets started. So we're gonna get to work on clearing out more area and go pick up those trees. Let's go. All right, so we still have a lot more to move and I finally got this hay elevator fixed. Let me show you what I did to get the tire back on the rim. It's a pain in the butt and it's the first time I've ever had to do it myself. So I'm pretty proud that I got it done. And actually before I haul that, I wanna check the tire pressure to make sure that it is still holding and I think what I might try to do is bring some blocks with me knowing that that tire deflates so that way if it starts deflating it's not going to be putting pressure on the tire and the rim it'll hit you know blocks like that so hopefully that will do it good so what I ended up doing to get the bead on there I took like a heat gun and I just blasted um any part that was kind of bubbled out, misshapen, and then I did this whole inside right through here. And I just got it warm. I didn't get it hot, I didn't melt it, I just got it warm. And uh, so when that was warm, I had a ratchet strap around the outside. I cranked that in just a little bit and started filling it with air, and that's all it took, it was just uh, the combination of those two things. And really, <laughs> after two hours of struggling with just the ratchet strap, Eric reminded me that the last time this happened, um, we had some people coming to pick up hay equipment and they told us to actually heat the tire. So that's what I did and it worked. And I wish I would have gotten that on video, but I honestly didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> so next time, right, next time. So now I gotta haul this down to its final resting place and then get the rest of that moved, which shouldn't be too bad, but um, we've got a couple days of rain this week. Um, we're actually supposed to have rain today. <laughs> It's beautiful. This is this is gorgeous. So if it's gonna be nice, I'm gonna try to take advantage of it and get all this moved. Hey, there's, paint. there's what? Paint. Paints. Paint. Well, it was painted at one time long ago. Yeah, I know. It has since worn off. I'm sure this thing's probably like 50 years old or more. That one. And how, why is it still here? Well, we've been using it. I mean, this stuff will last forever. So this is the area where we're gonna temporarily store equipment. Um, eventually we would like to get some gravel put in here and then have it covered over. But this is just kind of one of those random spots. It's just a small solid part of ground that is too small to turn into a hay field because that area in front of it's wet. So it works for parking equipment, but again, kind of like it covered. All right, well, let's see if we can get this thing off here. All right, so we got the pin out of there. Um, we've got the block under there to keep it up out of the ground. You've got to catch black back there so if the tires do get low, um, it'll catch on that instead of hitting the ground all the way. So, um, it should be good to go. 
So now we gotta go get the rest of this stuff. Which tire do you have a bet to explode? Look at that. Oh yeah. Woo, -way. we got it. Nothing fell apart worse than it already was. All right, so we got a board to put underneath this so it's not gonna sink in the ground, hopefully. Look at all this dirt. Normally we put boards underneath it, but sometimes when stuff gets moved, it doesn't always get a board under it. This is this is the best idea ever, just to move equipment around. I don't know why we didn't think of it before. So yeah, that's loose. This is off the manure spreader, so I gotta put this back. Look at that. Woo! Awesome. All right, one more to go. Oh, that's not even in very far. All right. Yeah, sometimes you gotta wiggle it really hard. Part of the problem is this is the truck's old hitch, so it's bent, so that makes it a lot harder to get it in. There we go. So you just gotta wiggle it. I don't have my big boots on either. It might not even connect in there because this thing's so bent. We should just get a new one. Um, I'm going to see if I can lift it up. And then I'm going to crank that up. If I can lift it up, then you can drop the pin in. Alright, so we're going to... Oops, just whack my camera. <laughs> Alright. Nice! to get there right there there's snake oh I see him wow here, here. moving faster than I'd expect considering it's kind of cold out maybe he was inside the manure spreader all right anyway I need to find a block put under this man I can't believe I forgot that I have one in here doesn't it? yeah see this is Eric was the last one to use it and he did not clean this out so that really kind of sucks. And then the power washer broke. So, uh, probably gonna have to haul it back up to the house to get this cleaned out, because I don't leave my equipment a mess. I guess we'll leave it here, because chances are pretty good. I'm gonna try and use it yet this year, so um, we'll just park it here for now. And then next time, we'll get a board. We're gonna drag uh, the dump truck. I don't know if it's a neutral or not, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Maybe a lot of things. Hey, nice job. You did it. Well, let's look at your parking job. What? I saw, let's look at your parking job. So you did good, we got it right where we needed it. That's perfect. Nice job. What'd you think, what'd you think about driving? Huh? What'd you think about driving? I wasn't driving, I was just cold. So it's nice that it had this right here because that's where I was hooking it with uh, the forks and I had the forks pointed down, not up. Oh, it was this right here because I hooked underneath that hitch point. All right, oh, don't get your shirt all dirty. I fell. I can see that. All right, high five. You're not gonna high five me? No. Fine. No dinner for you tonight. Wow. <laughs> I'm just teasing That's you. I'm just teasing you. That's a high five. All right, so we got the big ugly stuff moved. Now we have to get the small ugly stuff moved. Ugh. That pallet stack is gonna be a mess. I don't even know how I'm gonna fork that. There used to be boards underneath it to be able to pick it up, but. I don't know. Maybe I could get under here. Oh, it's a little, it's a little sketchy, but I might be able to. What time is it? Time to get more work done. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm gonna tackle this tomorrow. We got a lot done today. A lot. We did good. The weather held up for us. <laughs> They're feeling frisky. They're feeling excited and happy. Hi, Moisey. Oh, approach slowly. He's afraid you're gonna touch the fence and then touch him. 
says, I don't see an apple in that hand. <laughs> it says, oh, okay, well that's fine. Let him sniff you. Don't just stick your hand in his face. There you go. It says, I don't want you petting my head right now. So it is that time of year when we have to go collect Christmas trees yet again. We are gonna get some bare root trees this time. While we still don't have any definitive answers as far as why all of our potted trees are turning yellow, I think it has to do with them being potted trees. We're not having any of those issues on our bare root trees. So we are done using potted. We're gonna go strictly bare root. Plus they're easier to transport. Uh, we had chosen the potted trees originally because they are supposed to do better, but I don't know. I guess with our ground, it doesn't seem to be the case. So uh, we're going to go to a new tree farm that has much better pricing than the other tree farm we were at. It's going to be a little bit of a hike, but um, they'll fit in the back of the car or the back of uh, the pilot here. So we're actually going to go pick up Eric's truck. Um, pilot needs some work, so we're going to use Eric's truck instead. Let's go. Who do we have hiding in the back seat? Did you sneak along for the ride? She's being shy. <laughs> You're so camera shy. Look at you, stinker. Uh, we were going to take Carl because Carl loves car rides, but Daddy uh, loves being with mom. So this is a first for her. We're going to see how she does on a long car ride with just her. Yeah. She's just, just going to chill. And my son's coming too, but he's uh, occupied in the bathroom at the moment. <laughs> Man. So this is, we got four rules here. We've got a fifth one coming. That doesn't look like a lot, but that's gonna be a thousand trees. Uh, it's pretty much in and out over here. So we literally just got here. I ran into the office back there and ran right back over here. We've got a massive farm out here. They actually have several farms. They're one of the largest in Michigan out here. So these guys smell amazing. You can just smell that Christmas tree scent coming off from all these little babies. You can see they're starting to put their little buds out too. I wish you guys could just smell this. It smells so good. I don't remember them smelling this good last year for planting or the year before. This was like Christmas. Wow, she wasn't kidding. That could have fit right in my car. <laughs> All right, so let's go check these trees out. Wow, this is crazy. It was raining all the way there and all the way home. And now we have blue skies. Look at this, it's getting so beautiful out. This is perfect. We just need to get it dried up just a little bit. Our driveway is still really wet. Um, so that stuff over there, I really wanna wait until it dries up a bit more before I move it. So this is what it looks like, a thousand trees. A thousand trees. So you've got 100, 250, and the rest are 250. So let's see. CF, I think, is Canaan fir. Uh, FF would be Fraser fir. So the facility they were in, it was like a, a big refrigerated warehouse. And they had piles of these things in different um, groupings. And they would just pull a grouping out, write your name on it, and set it aside. So I thought they were literally going to be going out into the field, digging these up and saying, oh, here's your tree. It's freshly dug. No, I don't know when these were dug, honestly, but um, the company is called Wamhoff Farms in Michigan, and they are one of the largest suppliers of Christmas trees, um, both full grown and, uh, and bag version. Oh. These are heavy. I did not expect this to be so heavy. Wow. So it's kind of almost a shot in the dark. Not quite, but almost. It's trying to find trees that grow at the correct ratios to be productive for each year. So these are definitely gonna need some water in there. I don't know if you could see the, the stuff coming out. And I don't know if that's pollen. Um, they pack Spanish moss in with them to help give them an organic thing to hold moisture. So 
We're going to take this little guy here. We're going to take him in the barn. And normally I wouldn't risk this, but remembering how we did it two years ago, they were just fine getting unwrapped. So. Oh, you can see the water in it. All right. Look at this. So this is all Spanish moss. See how it's in with the roots? Um, that's really nicely done. You can see right here. So this is a three-year-old tree, roughly. I think that's about what it is. So we've got our root systems here. We gotta make sure not to cut them too short this year. So it was kind of a nightmare to try to separate them. You literally had to take your knife and cut through the roots because they had grown together that badly. And so, of course, that caused the branches to be all wampusy. Oh, it's raining. My coffee is outside. <laughs> all right, I better go grab my coffee. Ah, yep, that fast. It literally went from sunshine to crazy. I don't even know what you call this. Blowing ice. <laughs> it's like all it's ice that's blowing. Oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't working outside today. Huh, my deck is covered in ice now. Oh, and look it. Now the sun is back out. <laughs> this weather is seriously bipolar. I don't even know. Oh my goodness, it is crazy. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I know you guys are wondering how I'm gonna be able to plant all these trees because Eric's busy, so he won't have time to help. But I think I have a couple aces up my sleeve where I can get some people out here to help me and make it a community outreach type of project. So stay tuned for that. It'll be revealed next week and we'll dive into getting 1,000 trees planted. Thanks guys, love you guys so much. Hope you have a great weekend and hope it's a little bit nicer than ours. Take care, bye.